Hello again. Thank you for joining me on my channel. My name's David Charles, International Psychic Medium. Today I'm doing a reading for you entitled Love, Passion and Desire. Would you like to know about your future love, passion and desire? Welcome to North Devon in beautiful England in the UK. Just before dark, you can hear the sea in the distance. I'm going to pick a pack of cards. Which one do you fancy? Let me think. Let's try that blue one there. No theme tunes. No credits. We get straight on with it now. It's a pick, a pick a card reading and I'm going to make four stacks for you to choose from. All of these cards have been shuffled but I'll do them again quickly. Right, this is stack number one, two, three and four. Special welcome to you if you're alone or lonely watching this video. Lovely to see you. You can always tune in to me and I'll try and cheer you up if I can. And um, welcome to England. Let me see how many we've got there. One, two, three, four. This is a timeless reading. That means you can find it today. You can find it next year. Ten years from now, make, make no difference. You'll find this reading when you're meant to find it and your spirit guides will help you find it. So, if you come here today and found your reading, there will be a message here for you somewhere. So, stick with me. That's number one. Two, three, and four. Put where you can see them better. Which one do you fancy? Use your intuition. Use your psychic ability. Use your lucky number. Phone a friend. One, two, three, or four. I'll put timestamps below for you, so you can go straight to the number you choose without messing around. So we'll move two, three, and four over there. And I'll tell you now that um, at the end of the reading, I'm going to do some oracle cards after each one. And then I'm going to give you some magic lucky numbers. These lucky numbers could be very beneficial for you, so stick with me till the end. Let's see what love, passion and desire is coming to number one. Right. This is going to be a thorough reading, but I'll tell you now, number one, that the negatives come first. I'll tell you all the negatives first. Get them out of the way, and then we do the positives at the end, all the nice surprises at the end, and the lucky numbers, so stay with me till the end. And please subscribe if you haven't done so. Right, there are people around you who you have to be cautious of at the moment, and this will be linked to your love, passion, and desire in the coming weeks and months. So beware of that. I'm sure you already know about this, some of you. Some of this will be around your working life. That may not sound like it's linked to the title of this video, but it could be. So your love, passion and desire may also be linked to your career or your earthly life, the way you earn your living, that kind of thing. There is jealousy around you, number one, in the coming weeks and months, may not be there yet, but I'm picking up jealousy. Somebody who is not keen on you being successful, they may be a bit naughty in the background. These are your negatives. Remember the good stuff's at the end. You've got high stress levels, number one. Your stress levels are too high. That needs sorting out. Comes up in lots of readings these days. There is a person who genuinely cares about you that's worried about your stress levels. So have you been a bit down lately, number one? Somebody cares. Somebody that could be a single parent. I think it's a lady. So it may not be your mum, unless you're a single child, of course. But somebody's concerned about you. They're worried about you, so please reassure them there's nothing... Well, I'm not picking up anything too bad. This reading won't resonate with all of you. It's a general reading, but take in what does, ignore what doesn't, or go to one of my other readings, and there's dozens of them on my channel. David Charles Psychic. Looks like you're overdoing it, number one. Maybe you're working too hard. Maybe you're taking on too much. And that also can affect your love, passion, and desire, which is coming up in a minute. There's also confusion around your work. People may be getting the wrong end of the stick. You may be getting the wrong appointment times, the wrong emails, that sort of thing. Pick up, I'm picking up confusion. I'm picking up stress. I'm picking up a woman who's bossy. Is there a bossy lady at work who likes to push her weight around? Could be a man, but somebody around you is a bit strict, a bit stern. If you were a child, you wouldn't like her. If it was one of your teachers, you wouldn't like her very much. But I don't think, obviously you're not a child or you shouldn't be watching this, very naughty if you are. But there's somebody around you who's a bit bossy. 
number one, and it's coming through soon, so look out for that person, possibly a lady, not a young person. So it's not all doom and gloom. Let me tell you some good stuff in a minute. So watch out for confusion around your, all of your life, especially your love life. You and your lover, if you've got one, may be getting, seeing things at cross purposes, getting confused with each other. You may be having troubles that you shouldn't be having purely because of misunderstandings. So think about that, especially if it hasn't happened yet, because you can possibly avoid it. I think that the person that's worried about you needn't be so worried. It means they care for you a lot. I believe that you've been let down in the past badly, but not just by love. You've been let down by other matters, factors as well. Maybe people at work again. Maybe when you were young. I think one or two of you, number one, have been the victim of bullying. And one or two of you still are. I'm picking up bullying in this reading, and that's one thing I do not like to pick up. Because it's one of the most awful things, especially if you're the victim of it. So... If you want a proper reading, a full-length reading with me about this, go to my website. That's davidcharlespsychic.com. You can book me there and I'll read for you from anywhere in the world on the telephone. If you can't get me, if I'm busy, one of the team that work for me will help you and they're very good. I only employ the best. My team are the elite. So love, passion and desire. Not picking up much of it at the moment, that doesn't mean it won't come. It's going to come. But I think your love life could be stronger. I think your desires are very strong. You have desire. I think, number one, you desire to be loved. You desire passion. So love, passion and desire fits the title, fits this reading very well. But for the moment, it could be better. But we'll move on to that in a moment. I see some positives for you, number one, before you do your lucky numbers. First of all, I'm picking up movement. This can mean that you're moving in with your love app. It can mean that you're moving out from your lover, but that's not the case. I think happiness is going to be yours if you are moving in together. Now, the movement could be a holiday. You could be moving away together. I'm filming this during the COVID problem, so there may not be much movement at the moment, but you could pick this reading up in two years' time. You'll find this reading when you're meant to find it, and there will be messages in here for you, number one. Believe me. So... I'm picking up a lady around you who has a pet, maybe a dog or a cat, a budgie or something like that. It could be a horse. I think she may be the one that's worried about you. I'm picking up that everything around your work situation, although maybe confused at the moment, is going to improve soon. So that looks good as well. I've got a feeling, number one, that your love, your passion and desire for some of you is linked to your career. Now, normally... I would pick up that romances at work are not notoriously successful, but I think yours will be. Sometimes you can see too much of each other when you work together, but you may just work for the same company or the same establishment, but not see each other very often. So let me tell you the positives. Anything to do with movement will bring love, passion and desire. It will bring love and passion to your desires, number one. I think you have an awful lot of love to give. And I think you've given it before and it's been backfiring on you. And you're cautious now, as a lot of people are, of course. So you're, although you're looking perhaps for more love than you're getting, you may be giving off signals that's, that put people off. You may not know you're doing it, but you may be a bit standoffish. You may give off signals that say, keep your distance. So I don't want to be hurt again. If that's the case, it shows the vulnerable and soft and caring side of you. Rather than let somebody in and have a, a fraught relationship, you're being cautious. But I think your romantic situation is going to improve and it's going to improve soon. But I do think, number one, that you've got to let it happen. You may be inadvertently blocking off the love, the passion and desire that you so need, well, I believe that you crave, some of you. Don't make things worse. Well, no, don't make things harder than they should be. Not worse. Don't make things hard. Be out there. Be out and about if you can. 
when this film, when you see this video. Get out and about, mix with people that you like, the kind of people you like, and love and passion will be yours. In fact, I can almost guarantee it for lots of you, not for all of you, as I said. Some of you have already got it, but if you have, you may not be watching this video anyway. But love, passion and desire are coming, and there are lucky numbers coming in a moment. Let me tell you, I'm also picking up children here. Do you have a child or more than one? number one or is it your partner your lover if not then it could be that you're going to meet somebody who has already got children if it's not you your new lover may have children may not be with them they may be with their ex-wife or husband but there are children around this reading and with most readings nine out of ten the children do show happiness they're not usually a negative thing in readings, although you, you, th you may think they could be, I think that they can fulfill you and cement the happiness, cement the love, cement the passion and the desire. So don't be afraid if your new lover has one or two kids, or maybe more. I think if they are separated from their children, it's been amicable because I see that these children are happy, they're not sad. They don't feel deserted. So the, pump, the person we're looking at may still have contact quite regularly with his children or her children. As I said, it could be you, but there are children in the reading. Watch out who you trust. Get your stress levels down if you can and try not to let them go up again because it's affecting everything about you. It always does. It affects your sleep. It affects your diet. I think, number one, you need to eat more nourishing food, more vitamin filled food, not supplements. I think you need to eat properly. I don't believe that going without certain foods is good for you. I won't mention specifics because I don't want to upset people, but I think you need a balanced, varied diet, number one. That's what I'm picking up. If you have a weight problem, going on these fad diets is not going to do it. There's only one way to lose weight. There's only one way to lose weight, and that's eat less. Despite what you may read and be trained and taught or led to believe, if you want to lose weight, you eat less. There's no way around it. You can run 20 miles a day. You won't lose weight unless you eat less. If you don't believe me, Google it. Oh, bing it. Let's see if the oracle cards back up what I've been telling you. This I'm going to do four of these for each reading, then the lucky numbers. And these cards have been shuffled. They only get done once before all the four readings. So... This one first is an upside down fire card, symbolized by these lots of candles, someone with lots of matches to spare. Remember, if you're doing witchcraft and using candles, do not light them with a cigarette lighter or gas. You must light them with wood or a match, or it won't work. So you learned it here today. This card says to you, you've come into your own, continue to move forward. So you're coming into your own, it agrees with what I'm saying. Things are picking up. Continue to move forwards. Allow into your life the title of this reading, Love, Passion and Desire. If you want it and you allow it in, it will come. There's no question about that. It's just there waiting. It's just like you're on the edge of it now. And if you've already got love, passion and desire, it will allow even more to come in. I don't see a few things. I don't see deceit from a lover. I do see deceit around your work. I don't see deceit. I think if you have a lover, they're trustworthy. I think you are trustworthy. So there's no warnings about you being too timed or anything like that. This person may have an ex-wife or something, but I believe that any love coming from this person, if we have a person... Is coming directly to you and you may be blocking it a bit so just let it in go with the flow as they say so you come into your own continue to move forwards move forwards now keep the momentum going and love and passion and desire will be yours well you've already got the desire of course this one's a water card looks like a little bit underwater and a little bit above the water Good photography. This one says to you, somebody wants to help you. Now, 
Think of who it might be and initiate contract. Remember I said that somebody's worried about you? That's backing up that. There's no way I could have known that card was there. Somebody's worried about you, number one, and they want to help. So allow them in. Same as you're allowing all the other stuff in. I don't want you to be flippant and let everybody rush into your life because some of them, as I mentioned, may be not desirable or untrustworthy, particularly around your earthly life or your work. But apart from that, let people get a bit closer, that's my advice. Just stay a bit cautious, but don't give off vibes that say, whoa, keep away. As I said, you may not know you're doing that. So you can always get a full reading on my website, davidcharlespsychic.com. Somebody wants to help you. Think about who it could be and make contact. That's what that card says to you. A water card. Next one's water as well. This one, oh, that's nice. Is that the droplet of rain on, and looks like on a plant, maybe in the early morning mist. So, trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Remember I said you had stress levels that were too high? Trust your intuition. This tells me, number, number one, that you're a bit psychic and that you are intuitive and you can trust your intuition and follow your dreams Trust your intuition when it means trusting people. Allow people close as long as you're certain they're okay. In other words, be a little bit cautious, but not quite as cautious as you have been. So let people get a bit nearer. Allow the love in. Allow the passion to come into your life. It's there. I think you want it, and I think you deserve it. Don't let previous hurt make you hard, in other words. Last water card, which is a water card. More great freeze frame photography of the micro sort, I believe. This one's saying to you, I haven't seen this card for a while actually. You're in more pa you're more powerful than you realise. You're more powerful than you realise. It's safe for you to be powerful. So it's saying to me that you have the power to do the things I've said or recommended you may do. Allow people in. You have the power to get rid of them if you want to, without hurting them, of course. You have the power to stop being overly defensive and to allow people get a bit closer. It's quite a complex reading, number one, this. There's a lot going on, but there's nothing really terrible. Some readings, as I've said so many times, can be quite frightening and scary, but there's nothing wrong with this reading, number one. Nothing at all. I think, generally speaking, I don't think it's dramatic, but generally speaking, number one, things are looking up. Generally, gradually, be patient, let things come, and things will improve. There's, I'm 99% of that from nearly all of you, number one. Now, some magic-looking numbers. You got a pen? You may want a pen. If not, you can run the video through again, of course. These are the lucky, lucky magic numbers, number one, today. And I do these after all of my readings now, so it's worth watching me for the lucky numbers. And please subscribe and click the like button if you like it. Click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload new videos, every few days usually. And please share me with your friends. Most importantly, comment below and I'll answer all of them. If you want to ask me any questions about all this, ask them below. If you want me to ask me in private, go to my website, David Charles Psychic. Dot com. Lucky numbers for number one is number one, by the way. The six of these, number one, number four, 14, 25, 27, and 37. These are good for lotteries, for raffles, anything like that. They may be familiar to you. Some of these may be birthdays. They may be anniversaries. You may know or recognize these numbers, but if not, use them anyway. Don't gamble more than you normally do, you'll get me shot. So the numbers again for you, number one, are number one, number four, 14, 25, 27, and 37. These numbers could change your life if you're lucky. And remember my motto, think lucky and you'll be lucky. Think love and you'll be loved. And I love all of you, so thank you, number one. Please subscribe. I'm gonna get ready now to move on to number two, Thank you so much for watching this, especially if you're alone. See you soon. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Hello. 
If you chose number two, this one is for you. Love, passion and desire. Let's see what we've got here for you. Do you really want to know? This is, of course, a pick a card reading. It's a timeless reading, which means you can find it today, next week, next year, or 10 years from now. It won't make any difference. You'll find this reading when your spirit guides want you to find it. So, you found this reading today, number two. You chose this stack of cards. You chose them. So there will be a message in here for you somewhere. It may not all resonate with you. So take in what does and ignore what doesn't. And I'm going to tell you the negatives first, all the bad stuff, get that out of the way. And we'll do all the lovely surprises at the end, the good news at the end. Then I'm going to use some oracle cards for you. And then I'm going to give you some magic lucky numbers. So stay with me. These lucky numbers can be a big help. And they've proven to be in the past. Let me tell you your negatives first, number two. Love, passion and desire. Just like number one, you've got stress issues that are worse than number one, actually. If you're not under stress now, it's building, so be careful, number two. Don't allow your stress levels to climb. I'm filming this in the middle of the COVID epidemic, but I hope that that's over when you watch this. You may watch it today. If that's the case, that may be why you've got stress issues. But you could be watching it a year or two from now. Keep your stress levels down. And there are some good things at the end of this, I'll tell you straight away. Love, passion and desire. As with number one, your love life may not be as passionate as you would like it to be, as you desire it to be, but that will improve. It seems to me that you're looking around and you're feeling that something is missing. That could be something else, not just love, passion and desire. It could be your, your ordinary life, your working life. It feels as though you're searching for something, number two. What are you searching for? You're looking for something and you may already have it. You can search all around the house for something and it's right in front, under your nose sometimes. So you may be searching your life, number two, for something that you desire, but you just don't realize it's already there. That can be love, of course. I see a lot of positives here. The negatives are stress. I believe, number two, that you've had a pretty bad time in the past, maybe quite recently. If not, then I think you've had a bad time when you were younger. I don't think you've had an easy life at all. I think you've worked hard. I always say having a bad time means you have to sacrifice quite a lot. Some people have divorces and sacrifice their own home and sometimes leaving their children or family or people they love. But these are only examples. You have had, I believe a lot of you, number two, quite a lot to put up with and some of it may still be going on so be careful and uh, remember the good stuff's at the end there are officials around you well that may not be the right word there's somebody around you that you're going to see that is a consultant of some kind it's not medical it's not a medical thing but some kind of specialist will be giving you some words of wisdom and you may have to pay for that privilege it's someone who's quite respected so that can mean divorces and solicitors and that sort of thing but th again these are only examples but you will be i think seeking out professional advice it could be counseling i don't think it's a medical thing as in a physical thing you may be seeking out marriage guidance or something similar to that and um, if you believe you need it then do so but do you really need it as i said sometimes things you've already got when you're searching for them and they're already there Sometimes you can say the grass is always greener on the other side. But you're already on the other side. You're already on the good grass. You are very clever, number two. I think you've got skills that you're not using. It's no good stacking shells in the supermarket if you've got skills that are far superior to that. But, of course, these days, beggars can't be choosers sometimes. But um, there is good news coming for you, and I'll tell you in a minute about that. As it stands now, the negatives indicate stress. The um, previous bad stuff, as I keep mentioning, I think that you're going to get some karma for that, which means that any suffering you've had, any nastiness you've had in the past, is soon going to pay you back. So the good things will come to reward you. Most psychics and witches, mediums, believe that karma is threefold so you get this stuff back three times over so you've got some good stuff coming so the message from North Devon here in England 
is that the bad stuff should be over soon. And you heard it from me, David Charles Psychic, international psychic medium. Good things are going to take over the bad. That's what I'm picking up. Don't search for things you already have. Don't look for love if you've already got it. It won't apply to all of you, but it will for some of you. I think you're clever, gifted, a bit psychic, some of you, and I think you're the sort of person that will stick to their word. If you tell somebody they can depend on you, then they can depend on you. You don't like being messed about when you're trying to help people. Of course, you can help someone for 30 years and be there every time they need you. And sometimes when you need them, after all that, they're not ready, they're not available, so it can be a waste of time. But um, you are a caring person, number two. Let's just back up or refresh what I've said. Stress is a problem. The things you've done in the past are going to be repaid soon. There may be a job offer coming. I know it's nothing to do with passion and love and desire, but it could be. There could be a link to love and passion at work. That's often the case. You may be seeking out professional help. I think you're a solid, very clever, gifted person. Now for the good news, because there's not been really much bad news, has there? The good stuff here indicates some kind of celebration or party. And as I'm filming this, we're near to Christmas, but that's not it. You could be watching this next year at Easter. So there's some kind of celebration predicted soon. You may have some champagne or a glass of wine or something. This can be an engagement, because we're looking at love, passion and desire. It can mean a marriage. It can be the birth of a baby. And I'll come to that in a minute as well. Because there is news in this reading of a pregnancy somewhere. Somewhere near to you, number two. Could be you, if you're a girl. Could be your girl, if you're a chap. But there is a pregnancy in the reading soon, if not already. Watch out for reasons to be cheerful. Celebrations are in order. This will be linked to love, to love, passion and desire. That's the name of the reading. At the moment, I think you're searching unnecessarily you're searching for things that you don't really need i believe that you are open to falling in love more deeply than you already are if you're already in love if you're not in love then you're open to falling in love soon so love passion and desire are coming it's not dramatic i'm not going to say you're going to be riding off into the sunset on a white horse with somebody but it's good enough to be some kind of improvement I think you'll know what I mean. I can see it in your eyes, number two, that you know some of this is resonating with you. Not all of you, as I said. So if you want a full reading with me on the telephone from anywhere in the world, go to my website, davidcharlespsychic.com. And if, I, if you can't get me on there, if I'm busy, one of the team that work for me will help. And I only employ the best. So my team are the elite, the best psychics around and mediums. So... Let's just recap. Good news is coming. News of a party. Another separate subject from, from love and romance, but finances for you, number two, are improving soon for most of you. There seems to be not a lump sum, maybe not a lottery, but you can have the lucky numbers in a minute and change that maybe. But generally financial improvement is showing. The messages from my spirit guides to you uh, don't worry too much unnecessarily about finance because I think soon it will improve. But we're going to do lucky numbers in a minute and they can be big and big and helpful. Magic lucky numbers. Before we do that, I want to take a look at some oracle cards to see if they back up what the reading so far has been telling you. This, these have been shuffled once only. They're shuffled before any of the four readings. This first one is a fire card. Ah, that's nice. Looks like a campfire in a forest with the northern lights. Can you just make that maybe from where you are? The northern lights in the sky. Ignite the fire within you that connects you to the divine. So this tells me that, number two, you're filled with spiritual stuff at the moment. I had a feeling this may be the case. You have the fire within you. I think you're dampening it and you need to light it. Light the fire inside you. The passion, the desire, and of course the love. So it may be that you need to give out more passion, to give out more love, and just to get your desires through that way. It, it may be that your desires are not there because you're holding back somehow and not giving out the love 
and the passion. Ignite the fire within you, okay? That's love. There's no doubt about that. And you will be connected to the divine. And they've got you to watch this reading today. So there are messages here for you, number two. Let's take a look at the second one. I'll do four of these. This one's a water card. A beautiful, uh, looking at some leaves through a glass window, I believe, in the rain. Looks like a nice autumn day. Could be Devon in North, in, North, in North Devon in England. Missing out on an opportunity, it asks you. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Exactly what I've been telling you. Something you've already got. Open your eyes and you'll see it. Have a look around you. When you finish watching this, work out what it is. Sit down at the kitchen table, write a few notes. Work out what it is. It's something you're looking for and you've already got it. It's right under your nose. Missing out on an opportunity, it asks you. Open your eyes to the possibilities. There are possibilities for you, number two. Brilliant. The third one is another water card. This always reminds me of Lake Louise. I don't know, you may be able to tell me in the comments below. Is that Lake Louise in Canada? I'm not sure. You have desires to move on and search for something more meaningful. Again, it all points to what I'm saying. You're sort of not stuck in a rut, but pausing for something. Pausing for something that you may not need to pause for. You may be sticking yourself in like walking on treacle when you don't need to. So have the nerve be brave and move forward a little bit. You have the desire to move on and search for something more meaningful. So maybe you feel that your life hasn't got much meaning at the moment, but it will have. This reading is positive, number two. Stay with it. Stay positive. Things are coming for you soon. One more article card. This is a fire card. And it's a little fire there. Looks like a windy evening there. Sitting around the camp campfire. How romantic. Lovely. Events are happening at a fast pace, so things are picking up. Many things will happen at once. So just when you think nothing's going on, everything starts to happen all at once. Brilliant. You've got some really good stuff here, number two. I'm so glad you stayed with me till near the end. You've got some magic lucky numbers now. You may want to write these down. If not, you can watch the video again and make a note of these numbers. Could be good in lotteries and that sort of thing. Do not gamble more than usual, you'll get me into trouble, okay? And especially if you're underage. You shouldn't be watching this if you're underage. Anyway, the numbers for you, the lucky numbers, these are magic lucky numbers just for you. 11, 24, 29, 35, 42, and 50. Remember, these are lucky numbers. You may recognize them. There may be wedding dates, birth dates, anniversaries. Old addresses you used to live at, maybe. Give you them again. 11, 24, 29, 35, 42, and 50. They are lucky numbers, number two. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you watch this alone. You can always watch me, and I'll try and cheer you up if you're on your own. I don't like people to feel lonely. It's a terrible place to be in. But a special thank you for that. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I'm trying to get... A thousand subscribers you could help me do that click the bell icon if you want to be notified when i upload new videos every few days usually share me with your friends please make some comments below down there i answer all my comments and if you don't want to do it privately you can email me on my website that's davidcharlespsychic.com and get a proper reading there with me on the phone from anywhere in the world and if you can't get hold of me on there my team will help you and i only employ the very best so my team are good Thank you so much. Remember my motto number two, think lucky and you'll be lucky. Think love and you will be loved. And I love every single one of you. It's a great family to be with. And thank you for joining me. See you soon. I'm going to get ready for number three now. Catch you later. Bye bye. Hello, if you chose number three, this one is for you. Love, passion and desire. Let's see, do you really want to know about your love, passion and desire? This is, of course, a timeless reading, which means you can find it today, next week, or two or three years from today. It makes no difference. You'll find this reading when your spirit guides want you to find it. So if you found this reading today, number three, and you chose this stack of cards, 
there will be a meaning in here for you somewhere. It won't all resonate with you possibly, but take in what does and ignore what doesn't, or have a reading off my channel. There's dozens of them there. For the moment, this is your timeless reading for love, passion and desire coming up. And I'm going to tell you the negatives first. Let's get them out of the way and save all the juicy good stuff till the end, the surprises at the end. And at the end of this reading, number three, we do some oracle cards and then I'm going to use some magic numbers, lucky numbers that you really need. So stay with me till the end. The bad stuff first. And it looks as though, number three, that you're going through a turbulent period, rough and tumble, as depicted sometimes by the tower card. <clears throat> doesn't always mean bad things. It depends what surrounds it really. But the tower card in this reading is linked to a few other problems that I'll tell you about. The tower card means today that you could be going through a rough and tumble. It can be moving house. That's turbulence. It can be changing your job. It doesn't have to be a disaster. The point is that the turbulence you're going through now is necessary. Or that you're about to go through, I should say. Some of you, not all of you, don't start panicking, but if you go through a turbulent time, it's because you need to, to clear out the rubbish. So you won't like it, it may not be pleasant, but you'll look at it in a few weeks or a month or two, and you'll think, thank God that happened. I'm so pleased it did, because it's made me move into a better place, a better, a better phase in my life. And your life, number three, is for living. Remember, live every single day. Good and bad, because the good times are coming. But I'm going to tell you the good stuff at the end. Remember, I'm picking up trickery around you, someone deceitful and up to no good. This could be a lover, because we're looking at love, passion and romance, but it could be someone who is interfering in your love life. Okay, so work that out. I think number three, some of you will know what this means. I'm looking into your eyes. I can see some of you know what it means. So watch out for that. Don't get deceived. It could be that your lover's doing it. I hope not. It could be that you're doing it to them, being a bit deceitful. I've got to tell you everything. There's no point doing this otherwise. But there is deceit in the reading. There's trickery. There's trickery in the air. So if you're buying a second-hand car, be careful. Anything like that. It's not a good time for lending people money or lending them your CDs or your videos or anything like that because you will not get them back. So watch out for trickery. Don't be paranoid, be careful. Any turbulence you're going through is required to remove all the rubbish, okay? You may not like it. As I say, you may be turbulence through moving house, and it's, that's, one of, they say, one of the most stressful things you can do, but when you get to the new one, it all becomes worthwhile. So <clears throat> that's another example, that's only an example. It seems to me you're learning all the time. I think you're learning Recently, number three, you've been learning a few lessons about love. And uh, sometimes you look and think, well, that's taught me a lesson. And uh, that's what you're going through. I think at the moment you're feeling a bit trapped. Some of you are feeling a bit stuck in a rut. And you may need to break free of that. We had a similar in number two reading, but theirs was different because you need to break free. Number two didn't need to feel stuck in the first place. But I think... Number three, that you're stuck in a rut, some of you. You're entrapped by indecisiveness. It's time to make decisions. And if they bring turbulence, as I said, put up with it, live through it, work through it, and come out the other side and see the bent, you know, look back and think, so I'm glad it happened. Some of you are juggling with money. It's not to do romance and love, possibly. It can be, though, of course. You may have... Someone that makes you pay for all the dates that you're going on. But something, something's making me say that you're juggling around with your money at the moment, your finances, and that may continue for a few weeks. But you'll manage it. You're good at that. you just got to be careful, okay? I think you're also, some of you, as you may have spotted in the reading yourself, if you know about tarot, some of you are in triangles. That's a three-way romance. You may be seeing someone who's married, you may be some, seeing someone who's single and you are married or taken or spoken for. You may be seeing someone whose mother-in-law, his mother, your mother-in-law maybe, is interfering and causing trouble. There could be some jealousy there. It could be his sister 
that doesn't like you. There's something going on in this reading that points to me towards a triangle for you. Your spirit guides are telling me that you don't, you don't need to be in a triangle. You need to get out of it if you're in one. Sometimes, of course, with trickery in a reading, it can mean you're being too timed and you're not being made aware of it. So if somebody's being naughty and seeing another lady or another man, you need to make yourself aware of it. Don't be paranoid. As I always say, you can have a full reading with me on the phone if you want to learn about this properly, because you're all different out there. Go to my website. You can book me there. That's davidcharlespsychic.com. And if you can't get hold of me, if I'm busy, one of my team that work for me will help you. And I only employ the best. My team are the elite, the best you can get, especially in the UK anyway. So if you want a reading with me, go to davidcharlespsychic.com. If you want to comment to me, email privately. I'll email you back privately or comment below. Love to hear your comments below. Let me tell you some of the good stuff. I can't see any of the negative. Oh, yes, you have. You have some negative habits. Number three, you may, some of you be smoking or drinking a bit or doing things you shouldn't do or eating things you shouldn't eat or you may not be eating properly. There's negatives in the reading, number three, that must be removed immediately. If the spirit world tell you to remove negatives, you need to do it. If you don't do it, it may be forced upon you. So if you've got negative habits, get rid of them. Not tomorrow, today. Not next week, now. Get rid of negative habits. Stop mixing with negative people. They will bring you down, as I always say in these readings, negative people are not what you need around you, especially at the moment. Things are difficult enough with the stress that you've been going through and the turbulence that you may have to go through if you're not already going through. So remove negativity. Do not allow negative thoughts to creep into your mind. They'll keep you awake at night, Easy for me to say, I know it's very difficult for you to do, but try to stay positive. The oracle cards may help with this, and the lucky numbers certainly will. So, you may be juggling with money. I think you may be in a triangle. You may be two-timing someone yourself. If you are, you'll get the karma, so you, will, you heard it here first. If you hurt somebody, number three, you will pay. We all do. It's not negotiable. Most psychics and witches believe that karma is threefold. So you're going to get it three times over. So don't hurt anybody. If you hurt someone without knowing it, that's different. But if you do it knowingly, you can pay and you will pay. You need to remove the things that are preventing you from moving forward. Stop turning a blind eye to things. If things need your attention, number three, deal with them. Because I'm going to give you the good stuff now. The good stuff here is that your passion and love will improve as long as you remain out of a triangle. If you're in a triangle, as I said, that can mean mother-in-law not liking you or religious problems, differences in different religions. You may be Muslim, they may be Sikh or something and that you're not getting on or the families don't approve. These are all examples, but these can be pointing towards triangles. It means you, him and someone else involved. And you don't need the someone else. They need to include themselves out. Get rid of them. Don't hurt them. You'll get the calm, remember? Now, the biggest positive here, number three, is that you have psychic ability. Everyone has psychic ability to some extent, but yours is pretty good at the moment. So it, you do get highs and lows. You're inspired at the moment for the coming weeks by the stars, the real ones, not the stars in the newspapers, the real ones up there, the planets. You're inspired. So... If it's a hot summer's day when you watch this, lay on the grass outside at night, look at the stars. If it's a cold winter's evening, look through the window and look at the beautiful stars in the sky, if you can see them. The stars will inspire you whether you look at them or not. It means that you have psychic ability and it's telling me, number three, that you're on a psychic high at the moment. This means that you can trust your inner feelings, your reactions within. You can trust your intuition. You can trust those little voices inside you that tell you, don't do that, it's wrong, or do this. Listen to your inner vision, go with your feelings within, and follow your psychic, your psychic abilities. It appears that some of you are learning something new, maybe new hobbies. 
maybe evening classes, maybe you're learning yoga, or you're studying something. It can also mean that you're teaching as well. Education comes through this reading. I see nothing here, number three, to be frightened of. Turbulence is not nice, but it will get rid of all the rubbish. Of course, if you have psychic abilities, as I say all the time, you will have healing ability as well. The two things always go together. If you're not aware of it, look inside yourself. You could learn Reiki or aromatherapy or something similar. Acupuncture maybe. And you can help people with healing. Not just physical healing, but emotional healing as well, which will make you a good counsellor. You don't have to be a professional. Just listen to people's problems. And I'm pretty sure that you are good at helping them without bossing them around or taking over. Shame you're not so good at dealing with your own problems. But love, passion and desire is not flooding through this reading. I'm not going to tell you that when it's not here. But I think it will do as long as you don't enter a triangle. If you're in one, you need to get out of it. Whichever way you can, you mustn't be in a love triangle. As I said, it doesn't have to be another woman or another man. It can be family causing trouble, relatives, people down the pub. It could be anyone. So watch out for interference from outsiders. Let's take a look at the oracle cards before we do your lucky numbers and see if they back up what I've told you. These only get shuffled once before the four readings. I don't know what's there. And the first one is a water card. Candles appearing to float on a lake or is it the sea? I'm glad I didn't have to light all them. Anyway. <clears throat> this card says to you, excuse me, this card says to you, see the energy of love in all its forms, such as angels, auras and visions. It's just backing up what I've just told you. See the energy of love in all its forms, not just another a lover or a man or a woman. Love in the angels that guide you, that look after you, auras and visions. So watch out for your visions. May that may be in there. They may be in your dreams. But love is all around you. Number three. That's what they're saying to me to tell to you. You may not feel it at the moment because of the turbulence. But I believe that love is all around you. Passion is all around you. That doesn't just mean romance. Passion can mean that you have a passion for your hobbies. It means you're passionate about things. It means you're strong inside. And of course, the visions and auras, you need to be aware of all these spiritual things. And I'm sure you know, a lot of you, what that means. Let's take a look at another one. We do four of these. This is a water card. Your prayers are manifestations. Remain positive and follow your, your guidance. That's this guidance. <coughs> Excuse me, the spirits are giving you now. Spirit guidance. They're asking you to remain positive, to follow guidance and of course follow your intuition, your prayers are manifesting. These prayers are to prayers to God or to the universe, whatever you feel it is out there, that's what the prayers are. Depends how you feel about it. No two people seem to feel the same. But everyone has prayers or dreams. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. So your guidance, as I said, can come in visualisation, in auras, in dreams, and you're inspired by the stars. Love is all around you, number three. You may feel as though it isn't, but it's there. The angels love you. They've got you to watch this reading today. The spirit world are looking after you. Let's try another one, the third one. Fire card. This doesn't come out very often. Let go of the past. Embrace the light and enjoy and the joy of a new day. Seems like an ocean in a the desert there. Is that an oasis in your storm, number three? Should have showed you number two, shouldn't I? There's a nice waterfall there. Did I show you that? I don't think I did. Nice picture. Time lapse. No, not time lapse. Long exposure photography. Yeah, let go of the past. Embrace the light and joy of the new day. So things are changing, number three, and they're changing good. I think you've had some rubbish recently, but... The turbulence is going. Once you're through that, once you're out of any triangles, which you're going to do, I know you will, then things will improve. There's no question about that. You can have a full reading with me, as I said, on my website, davidcharlespsychic.com. Book me on there. 
If I'm not free, my team will help you. Please subscribe. Let's try another one. If you haven't already done so, I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers. You can help me do that. It'd be lovely if you did. Click the bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload new videos every few days usually. Tell your friends about me and comment below. That's the main thing, comment below. And I'll answer all the comments. As I said, you can email me privately on my website if you want private answers. And I answer all my emails. This is the fourth, excuse me, um, Oracle card. The solution to your problems is forgiveness. Allow it to happen. Now, I believe that's saying to you that you need to forgive yourself. If you're holding yourself responsible for something, you mustn't do it anymore. It's asking you, the spirits are asking you to forgive, to give, forgive people who've done wrong to you. If your boyfriend has said something you didn't like, it's time to forgive. Otherwise, you could mess it all up and prevent yourselves from moving on into love, passion and desire. That's what we're looking at, love passion and desire. The strongest force in the universe is love. Nothing overcomes that, nothing. So, the solution to your problem is forgiveness. Allow it to happen. I'm gonna give you some magic lucky numbers number four. You may wanna get a pen, but if not, you can always pause it and watch the lucky numbers section again. And these are good for lotteries, raffles, that sort of thing. You may recognize these numbers. They could be wedding dates, anniversaries, birthdays addresses you've lived at, but their numbers are good and uh, good for lotteries and things. Don't gamble more than you normally do or you'll get me shot. And if you're underage for gambling, you shouldn't be watching this, very naughty. So, you'll look at six lucky numbers here for you, number three. The first one is 26, 31, 33, 38, 47 and 48. A lot of 30s there. Write them down, use these numbers. I'm gonna give you looking numbers after every reading from now on, so you can always come to my readings. I'll tell you them again, 26, 31, 33, 38, 47, and 48. They're your lucky numbers for this reading. Use them, let me know if you win something big. Let me know if they're lucky for you. I'll be thrilled to know. Thank you so much for watching me, number three. Remember my motto, think lucky and you'll be lucky. Think love and you will be loved. And of course, I love all of you, every one of you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Hello. If you chose number four, this one is for you. Love and passion. Let's find out for you. Love and passion in the coming weeks and months. Will love and passion come to you and desire? This is a timeless reading, as I keep saying, and it means that you can find it today, tomorrow, or next year, or 10 years from now. It doesn't matter, matter when you find it. You'll find this reading when the spirit guides want you to find it. So if you found the reading today and chose this stack of cards, number four, there will be a meaning for you in here somewhere. So stay with me. At the end of the reading, we do some oracle cards to back up, see if it backs up what I've told you, and then your magic lucky numbers. So stay with me for the lucky numbers because they could change your life. Lucky numbers for you are coming at the end. And at the moment, I'm going to start with the bad stuff, get the negatives out of the way, and then we'll do the good stuff right at the end, all the nice stuff, the messages from spirit, the surprises a bit at the end. So stay with me till the end for your lucky numbers as well. <coughs> and number four, first of all, you've got to be careful because you could lose something. There's a loss in the reading. Losses, in psychic readings are nearly always avoidable. So I'm glad you've been watching this today because you can be careful with your possessions, your belongings, and your valuables. Keep your doors locked. Don't lend people money, you'll lose it. Don't lend people your DVDs or anything else because you won't get them back. A loss is in the reading. Now they can be severe sometimes. It can mean losing your job. I don't think that's the case here, but for some of you, it may be, and I've got to tell you all the truth. So this reading is about love, passion, and desire. So it can mean that you're losing a lover, you're falling out. I hope that's not the case, but for some of you it may be, and you may already know that. I think, looking into your eyes, number three, four, sorry, some of you already know that. But only some of you. This won't resonate with all of you. Take in what resonates and ignore the rest. 
So your negatives first. Watch out you don't lose anything. The rest of it, I'm really struggling to see negatives. It's such a good reading. You've got some karma coming, which means that if you've been naughty, you're going to pay. But I think most of your number three have been pretty good. So that means you've got good karma coming. But if you have been bad or hurt somebody in the past, knowingly, of course, then karma is coming, which means you'll pay for it. And most psychics and mediums and witches believe that karma is threefold. So you get it three times as bad. But luckily, it's good for most of you. So you'll get it three times as good if you've been good. The only problem with this reading is that the love, the passion and desire may be hidden from you for the moment. It appears that some of you have a secret admirer. Somebody fancies you from afar. This comes up quite often. I think people are reluctant to come forward sometimes. And some of you, of course, give off messages that say keep away, which happened, I think, with number one reading today. So before it got dark, watch the sun go down today what sun there was. All I can hear now is the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, here in beautiful North Devon, in England. So, you could be losing a lover if you're falling out. I think you know that. I believe that some of you, number three, have, if not already, then soon to have an admirer that may be afraid to tell you that he or she fancies you. They may think you're not available, or you're too good for them. Because there's a lot of you out there, number th number four, that have beauty, and there's beauty in the reading. And for some of you, the beauty is in your eyes. I see beautiful eyes for a lot of you, but some of you it will be beauty from within, and some of you it will be both. So there's a lot of good stuff in this reading. As I said, I'm struggling to find negatives, but watch out for a loss. If you've already had one, then don't worry about it. It's unlikely that you'll get another one. But preventable losses... As I said, it can sometimes mean losing your job. I hope that's not the case, but be aware, be on best behaviour just in case. As we're filming this today, we're in the COVID crisis, but you could find this three or four years from now. It will still apply. This reading works from when you find it. It doesn't matter when you find it. Let me tell you some of the good stuff. I believe that your love, passion and desire may be linked to future travel. So if you're in the travel industry, it will be fantastic. If you work on a cruise line or something like that, or if you're linked to travel or even delivery or lorry driving or anything like that, I believe that your love, passion and desire in the future may be linked to that. If it's not already, I believe that you have an admirer coming, although you may already have he or she that didn't tell you. For the second time today, there is a pregnancy in this reading. So some of you, number four, are pregnant. And some of you may not even know yet. And some of you may be pregnant in the coming weeks and months. This comes up in lots of readings, but it's quite a common thing. Of course it is. So if you're trying for a baby, this is the time to do it. However, be careful. Because you don't be having mishaps with that either. So take care of yourself. But losses are not normally that. When you see a loss in a reading, it's very rarely a death or a bereavement. Their class has made your secrets. The spirit world do not reveal secrets like that. That's Hollywood film stuff. So, but if you are trying for a baby, this is great timing. I think you've got such a good future here as far as your love and passion goes and your desires. So your desires for love and passion are coming if you haven't already got them. I've got to say that there are two separate messages here about pregnancies. So is one of your friends having a baby as well? Is it your sister or maybe if you're young, it may be your mum. I hope you're not too young to watch this. Be very naughty. But um, if you're a mum, it could be one of your kids if they're old enough. But there's two separate pregnancies around you, number four, somewhere. And you'll see. And of course, there could be two births. A pregnancy in a reading can mean a birth any minute. So... That could be the case as well. If you're going somewhere, number four, if you're moving house, fantastic. Second time today as well. But I think if you're moving house, it will be as a pair. So if you're buying, if you're moving to a new flat, for instance, say it's time to move from mum and dad, if you're a youngster and you're going into a flat, I believe there'll be two of you in that flat. <clears throat> Possibly more. But I don't think you're moving somewhere alone, which is nice. 
But if it's love, passion and desire, then I believe that you'll be moving somewhere with a lover that is true. And I mean true. There's no deceit predicted here. There's no two-timing. There's no people, you know, betraying you behind your back predicted in this reading today. And these are the messages from your spirit guides. They've got you to watch this. So this, chances are, number four, that spirits are with you wherever you are now. There'll be at least one spirit with you now. You could be at home. You could be at work. You could be in the car. You could be taking a bath. But there's a spirit guide with you right now. I mean, you're the first one today that I've got that with, so that's good. This reading indicates that your love, passion and desire is growing. Growing stronger and stronger. There's nothing here bad. If you're going to lose something, going back on what I said about losing, I don't think you're going to lose your lover. If anything, you're going to get closer. So the messages are changing. Anything to do with moving house, leaving home maybe, to go out on your own, away from mum and dad. Or if you're an older person, more mature, you may be moving house. It should bring happiness, especially if there's more than one of you involved. Movement, of course, can mean a holiday, and it can mean moving your job, a change of career. Whatever it is, it's good. So, everything you touch at the moment is turning, not turning to gold, but everything you touch at the moment, number four, is growing. So if you want to start something new, it should grow immediately. Say a new hobby, a new job. If you're buying plants for the garden, they will grow fast. But growth in a reading means that everything is fertile. Everything you touch will grow. So it's good. If you want your romance to grow, it will. If you want to change to a new one, then that should grow quickly too. As I said, you do have an admirer. So if you're already, if you're already in a romance, your lover may have a competitor to concern himself with or herself with. This reading today, number four, is asking you to be, a, to be a little bit more ambitious, to be a bit more go-getting, a bit more ambitious, a bit more risky, not, not reckless. But the message is for you to take a chance. And again, looking at your eyes, and I can see you, you know, I believe that some of you know what this means. The spirit world want you to take a leap of faith. Is this something you've been putting off or hesitating about doing? If so, the time is right to do it. It's time for you to take a chance. It's time for you to jump in with both eyes open though. Don't be daft and reckless. But take a chance. If you're trying for a baby or thinking of it, take a chance. If you're thinking of changing your job, do so. It's time to have a go. Look back later and think, I wish I hadn't done that, but I don't think you will. I think you'll look back later and think, thank God, thank goodness I watched David Charles Psychic's reading. And I'm coming to you from beautiful North Devon in England, David Charles Psychic Medium. I read for people from all over the world. If you want a reading with me on the telephone, a full reading on your own, go to my website, davidcharlespsychic.com. You can book me there. If you can't get me, if I'm busy, one of the team that work for me will help and I only employ the very best. And my team of psychics and mediums are the good ones. And if they're not good, tell me and I will remove them. So I'm only joking, but they are good. Anyway, so movement is good. Love life is very good. Passion is good. I think your spirit guides want you to be taking more risks, to be a bit more passionate about not just your love life, passionate about the things you care about. If you care about, say, animals, be passionate about it. If you care about the planet, be passionate. Whatever your hobbies are, whatever your interests are, don't let your passion fade away. Don't lose interest. It's time to take a chance. Remember, karma is coming. And I believe your karma is good. The reading is great for travelling. If you're travelling, it's wonderful. I really can't see many negatives in this except that you've got to watch you don't lose something. So keep your eye on your credit cards, your wallet, your purse, your handbag, purse in America, handbag in England, depends where you are, and take a risk. The reading specifically says, number four, take a risk. You'll know what it means. There's something that you're looking at and thinking, should I, shouldn't I? Take a risk, most of you. As I said, I keep repeating, it won't 
resonate with all of you, take in what does and ignore what doesn't. Now we're going to look at some oracle cards now, and then I'm going to give you a magic no lucky numbers, and they are magic. The oracle cards have been shuffled once only before the four readings. So I don't know what's here, and we're going to do four cards for you. I need the bike for this, the glasses. The first one is an air card, and this is saying to you, once you acknowledge your self-worth, your confidence will grow. So it tells me, number four, that maybe your confidence has been a bit low, has been a bit low recently. So something has knocked your confidence. Is that why you're hesitant about taking this leap of faith? Because your confidence in yourself has gone down a bit. You need to believe in yourself. Important. I'm so glad you watched this reading, number four. Believe in yourself. Doesn't matter about other people. If they believe in you or not, you must believe in yourself. You are excellent, you're special, and you're filled with love. And love is all around you. Passion is all around you. And your desires should be fulfilled. Love, passion, and desire. That's the name of this reading. Once you're acknowledging your self-worth, your confidence will soar. Remember, you heard it here first. Let's have a look at the second one. There's four of these. We do for Blossom. That's nice. Always nice to see that. It reminds me of springtime. Maybe springtime when you're watching this. The harder you climb, the better the view at the end. Your reward is coming. Remember, take a risk. The harder you climb, the better the view at the end. I don't know why they don't say the higher you climb, but they say the harder you climb. I suppose it means it's a hard climb out of a slog if you're having a hard slog at the moment. But the harder you climb, the better the reward is. So if something's worth having, it's worth working for. Do it. Go for it. You know what I mean, most of you, number four, and the rewards will come. Trust me. David Charles Psychic. Third one, an air card. We're above the clouds here. Looking down on the clouds. Lovely picture. This one says, an air card, distract yourself with creative, a creative pursuit, as I mentioned. And the inspiration you seek will find you. I think you're needing inspiration. As I said, if you've got hobbies, be passionate about them. And that's what the title of the reading is, passion. If you have a passion for anything, don't let it fade away. Have a go. Take a risk. Have a, take a leap of faith. Distract yourself with, with creative pursuits. It will take your mind off your worries. Distract yourself. The inspiration you seek will find you. You're not finding it. It'll find you. Your spirit guides are watching. Your angels are watching, number four. And you're going to get your lucky numbers in a minute. Last one, an earth card. A tree. In the middle of a field. Growth, I suppose. Give yourself permission to heal and it will come. So if you're feeling a bit wounded and you need to heal yourself, you need to give yourself permission. It seems you're holding back. To me, number four, it tells me that if there are any negatives in this reading, it's that you're being hard on yourself and you've got to stop it. You've got to love yourself as your angels love you and your spirit guides love you. They're there. They're there to help you. And I believe they got you to watch this video. And if you've got a spirit guide with you right now, and I think you have, talk to them, him or her, because they can hear you. Right. Give yourself permission to heal. And it will come. Let's give you some lucky numbers. You may need a pen. Or of course, you can watch the video again and go straight to the lucky numbers. These are magic numbers that help you with lotteries and that sort of thing. You may recognise them. There may be wedding dates, birthdays, anniversaries, house numbers. You may not know any of them. But they're handy numbers. And I'm going to give you lucky numbers after all my readings from now on. So stay with David Charles Psychic and please subscribe. These numbers for you, number four are number 10, 18, 22, 39, 40 and 46. These numbers could be magic. They're specially selected for you that goes with this choice of deck. Number four. I'll give you one more, one more time. Number 10, 18, 22, 39, 40, and 46. Don't gamble more than you normally do, or else you'll get me into trouble. But these lucky numbers can be very valuable on lotteries and that sort of thing. But don't overdo it. Horse numbers, anything like that. 
or they may just be lucky numbers and you'll know the reason why. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers. You can help me do that. I'd love you to help me. Join our family. We've got some lovely people who comment below. Please comment below and I'll answer all of my comments always. If you want to talk to me privately, you can email me for a private answer and I answer all my emails and you'll get my email address on my website, davidcharlespsychic.com. As I said, you can book me for a full reading on your own, a private reading on the telephone from anywhere in the world on my website. And if I'm not free, my team that work for me will help you. That's davidcharlespsychic.com. So remember my motto number four, think lucky and you'll be lucky. Think love and you will be loved. And of course, I love every one of you, all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, click, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Tell your friends, click like for me if you would, if you like this. And thank you so much, especially if you've been watching this alone. I do think about you if you're lonely. Remember my motto, think lucky, you'll be lucky. I'll catch you later. See you soon. Bye-bye.